Shalom. This Sunday, the 3rd of Tammuz, marks the Yurtzeit of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson Zechet Tzadik Livrocha, the 7th Lubavitcher Rebbe, who passed away in 1994. He taught a Judaism that saw the good in every person and aspired his followers to reach out to all parts of the world. Unsurprisingly, he also shows us a positive angle on Korach, one of the villains of the Bible and the anti-hero of this week's parasha. Twenty years before he died, the Rebbe gave a talk to a group of teenage girls, and he reflected on a midrash that when Korach organized his demonstration against Moses, he arranged for his fellow conspirators to be dressed identically. Last week's parasha ended with the portion of tzitzit, where we were told that a thread of blue should be wound round the white tzitzit fringes. Korach dressed his 250 henchmen in garments made entirely of blue. He then confronted Moses with the following question and said, does a garment made entirely of blue still require tzitzit with a blue fringe? When Moses replied that it did, Korach mocked this answer to the crowd. If a single thread of blue is enough for a whole garment, surely a garment made entirely of blue doesn't need another blue thread? Rabbi Schneerson explained that Korach was challenging the essence of Moses' leadership. The blue thread reminds us of the blue of the oceans and the heavens calling to mind God's majesty. But how do you communicate that message? Korach believed the more you can overwhelm people with the blue light of heaven, the more successful you will be. Korach wanted to appeal to the emotions, to set souls on fire. He thought that people make excited by God by letting their entire garment, their entire identity, melt into the sky. Moses fundamentally disagreed. God's Torah is not just based on people's feelings. Of course, people must be inspired and motivated, but that has to be translated into daily acts, good deeds, acts of kindness, sensitive words, daily prayer, regular mitzvot. Moses taught that we have to take single daily tangible acts and through them weave a blue thread of connectedness to God. Korach wanted to wake up the world. Moses didn't disagree, but he needed to change the world. You have to work at a step at a time. Moses knew this all very well to excite an audience. But if, it's not, if this is not combined with an impact on daily lives, then it is of limited value. <laughs> when Glastonbury is over, all that is left is a trudge through the mud. Rabbi Schneerson didn't just preach these ideas. He lived them. He inspired people to the heights with his Fabrengen, but more importantly, he inspired tens of thousands of his followers and his representatives to bring Judaism to all corners of the globe. He encouraged people to connect in simple daily ways, putting on tefillin, giving tzedakah, lighting candles, hospitality, and so on. Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs of Blessed Memory described it brilliantly in the phrase that he coined some years ago that was later adopted by Rabbi Moshe Miller in his, there's a title of his biography of the Rebbe, Turning Judaism Outwards. One lesson we have learned during the pandemic is when we have missed the in crowd inspiring experiences is how important are those essential daily ways in which we can connect with each other and connect with God. Shabbat Shalom.